Station Houston on Space to Ground 1. Hello and welcome to the podcast from space. My name is Lucas and welcome to Orbit Insights. Station Houston on Space to Ground 2 for any available crew member. Yeah, there's a leak coming from the radiator on MLM. Hold, hold, hold. Alec, you must return to the airlock as soon as possible. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Go for launch. Orbit Insights, your podcast for space traveling and space news. Hello and welcome to Orbit Insights episode number six. Today we are talking about yeah, a very exotic topic. Today we are talking about a Chinese spacewalk at the Tiangong Space Station. Why do we need to talk about it? Because it was the longest Chinese EVA in history with 8.5 hours and the spacewalk was conducted by the Shenzhou 18 crew. So before we start to talk about the spacewalk, let's talk about the Tiangong Space Station. It is a permanently crewed space station. It's orbiting in the low Earth orbit between 340 and 450 kilometers. It has a length of 55.6 meters and a diameter of 39 meters. So all in all, the Tiangong has one third of the size of the ISS and the assembly began in April 2021. So now you have the general information about the space station and now let's talk about the spacewalkers. The two spacewalkers were Yi Guangfu and Li Guangsu. So let's start with Yi Guangfu. He was born in 1980 and he is a Chinese fighter pilot with 1100 hours of flight time. He was selected for the Taikonaut Corps in 2010 and he flew to the Tiangong station already on Shenzhou 13 in October 2021 and he did one EVA of the duration of 6 hours and 11 minutes. The second spacewalker was Li Guangsu, he was born in 1987, he is also a Chinese fighter pilot and a member of the Chinese Communist Party and he was selected in 2020. And now with Shenzhou 18 it's his first spaceflight. So last but not least, let's talk about the spacewalk. It was the Chinese EVA number 16 in history. And as I have said already, with the duration of 8.5 hours, it was record breaking because it was the longest Chinese EVA. So during the spacewalk, they did an installation of the space station debris protection system and an inspection of the EVA equipment and facilities. And yeah, what was the reason for the spacewalk? The agency was concerned after a partial power loss of the space station because a space debris hit one of the solar arrays. And that was the reason for the installation of the protection system. The spacewalk was assisted by the third astronaut Li Kong and more EVAs will be conducted in this mission because new hardware needs to be installed at the space station. Okay, so that's it with this very short episode, but I hope you liked it. I wanted to give you more information, but we all know China. <laughs> it's very hard to get information. So yeah, that's all we know at the moment. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next episode. This is Space to Ground 1. Bye.